I am now the exclusive promoter of Kevin Rhodes' multiple books on hognose snakes, and we're currently offering the largest discount to date of 33% off using the promo code SHOVELHOG33. The link to purchase these books will be located in the description of this video. How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another video, and today I got requested um, to make this video, so I'm going to be showing off all of my hognose snakes that I currently have in my collection from the babies that I just hatched out from my sub adults that hatched out last year as well as my adult breeders I'm also going to be going over their genetics as well as the breeders that I purchased them from so sit back and relax and enjoy this video first one is going to be this female she's currently in shed this is a pure lemon ghost walma to granite jungle um, so this is an outcross, very nice woman pattern. She looks way better out of shed. So that's the first one, my favorite snake in the collection. Number two is her mother. So this is a granite jungle produced by Kevin Rhodes. So you see the nice yellow coloration. Unfortunately, she didn't lay any viable eggs for me this year. Down here, I have a pregnant female. This is my Arctic Sable Anaconda 100% Het Albino. This girl right here was produced by Jeff Gelwood at JMG Reptiles. And she should be shedding any day now. This right here is my 100% head leucistic female produced by Jason Taylor of Beyond Genetics. This right here is my exanthic anaconda 100% head albino that just laid some eggs. She's currently in shed. As you can see, her eyes are blue. She was produced by Runka Reptiles. So I got her last year, I think last October. And down here I have my orange phase Eastern hog nose. And she was produced by Kevin Fisher. All right, let's put her back in here. Let's move on to this, this female right here. This is an Arctic Anaconda, 100% head my tie, so that means she carries a sable and toffee gene, and she's also 50% head lavender. So, hoping that she lays some eggs for me next year. And she was produced by Mitch Davy of Fathom Hogs. This right here is Noodle. My very first hog nose, he is an albino hog nose produced by Jeff Goldblatt from Hardcore Hog Nose. This right here is a pure lemon ghost woman to granite jungle uh, baby from last year. So she is a sibling of the first snake that I showed you and the daughter of the second snake, the granite jungle. So she was produced by me. This right here is in Lavender, 100% head albino. She's a year old. She was produced by Nate Miracle. All right, let's go up here. This right here is a Court Gabbard Lime Lemon Ghost Woma produced by Aaron and Andrew from Ectotherm Empire. This is a boy. This right here is a Super Arctic, Super Anaconda, 100% head lavender albino produced by Jeff Gelwood. He needs a larger enclosure too. This right here is an Exanthic, 100% head sable and albino produced by Dustin and Susan from Show Me Kitties. I don't know why he's going in and out of focus. This right here is an Arctic, 
100% had toffee, lavender, and albino produced by Brandon from Mellow Hognose. This right here is another Eastern. This is a male Eastern Hognose produced by Kevin Fisher, just like the female that I have. This right here is an Arctic Anaconda 100% Het Leucistic and Albino produced by Jeff Galewood. This is a little male. And this right here is an Anaconda 100% Het Albino. I actually produced him two years ago. The person who I sold him to no longer could care for him. So I got him back and he'll be available at the Daytona Reptile Expo. All right, moving on over here, we have a Mai Tai, which is a visual sable toffee. He is a male, and he's currently shedding out. You see, he's still got a piece of his head that needs to shed. Put you back in. This right here is a pure lemon ghost woman male, produced by Jeff Gelwood. This right here is an Arctic Anaconda, 100% Het Mai Tai, 50% Het Lavender, produced by Mitch Davy of Fathom Hogs. And this right here is just um, a snake that has an aberrant pattern. Um, she is Het Toxic or possible Het Toxic. She was produced by Brent Bumgardner. This right here is an albino anaconda, 66% head sable, produced by John Rice at Fathom Hogs. And this is Aang, my full stripe, lemon ghost woma granite jungle outcross, produced by me. This right here is an Arctic toffee, 100% head uh, 100% has sable lavender produced by Dustin and Susan from Show Me Kitties. And this is a super arctic conda. 50% had my tie produced by me. All right, now let's get into the babies that are produced this year so far. Um, all these first ones are going to be uh, arctics. 50% had 50% had leucistic. So that's one. We have another one right here. Yeah, this one. Have this one right here. And this one must, you can see right there. I actually fed them yesterday. Here's another one. Right, and here's the second clutch. So I'll use the same genetics. Artix 50% head leucistic. It's hidden. Let's see if we can get it in focus. And these last seven are the babies that I just produced. So this first one, this is a Arctic albino superconda head exanthic. And this is the same thing right here. This 
This right here is an Arctic Superconda, 100% head exantic, 66% head albino. And the last four are the same thing. So these are Arctic Anacondas, 100% head exantic, 66% head albino. So here's one right here. Here. And right here, he is the last hognose in the collection. Appreciate y'all for watching yet another one of these videos. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.